Hey guys, welcome to HTM Tech. So in this video, we are going to install an SSD to my laptop. Now I will cover this video in three parts. First, why do we need SSD? Second, how to install an SSD into your PC or laptop? And third, how to clone your Windows 10 safely from your hard drive to your SSD? Now before starting, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video. So first, why do we need SSD? SSDs are way faster than mechanical hard drives. So when you install an SSD to your device, your boot up time will be a lot faster, your softwares will open a lot faster. In short, your laptop or PC will way too faster than it was before. Now there are three types of SSDs. First is SATA SSD. Now if you have a disk drive or CD drive in your laptop or PC, you can install a SATA SSD in your disk drive or CD drive. Even if you don't have a disk drive, you can replace the hard disk to your SSD. And second type is M.2 SSDs. An M.2 slot looks like this. Further in M.2, there are two types of SSDs, SATA SSD and PCI Express NVMe M.2 SSD. Now the speed of SATA SSD and M.2 SATA SSD are almost the same. And then the fastest right now is PCI Express NVMe SSD. Now before purchasing an M.2 NVMe SSD, make sure your laptop has an M.2 slot or not. You can find that in your device product page or just open the back of your laptop and see if it has an M.2 slot or not. Now for your reference, M.2 SATA looks like this and M.2 NVMe looks like this. So you can figure it out whether you want to upgrade to SSD, NVMe or SATA. So in this video, we are going to install an NVMe SSD. Now my laptop is not a gaming laptop, but this is the best deal I can find on the internet. So this is M.2 PCIe Gen 3. The size of the SSD is 22 by 80 and the read up speed is up to 3500 Mbps and write speed up to 3000 Mbps. This is pretty fast. Simple packaging and we have got some aggressive red color as this is a gaming SSD. The red color is cooling vent. Now before opening the back of the laptop, if your laptop gives you shock then please remove your battery. You can just put your SIM ejector tool into that hole, press with SIM ejector tool and the battery will be disconnected. Then gently remove all the screws. Opening my laptop's back is pretty hard. I have to remove the hard disk partition as well. So this is my hard drive and I have to remove the screws for opening the back bracket. This is a little complicated for me to open my back bracket of my laptop but it wouldn't be for you. If you have a new laptop it will be just simple for you. So this is the M.2 slot as you can see. In the M.2 slot align the SSD according to the notch. Keep it at 45 degrees and put the SSD into that socket or slot. Now as you can see we have inserted the SSD and it is at 45 degree angle. So you have to gently push it down and apply the screw and tighten the screw so that you do not keep it loose. Now you don't get a screw with your SSD. So if there is no screw in your laptop slot you have to just buy from a local vendor of electronics shop. So our SSD is inserted successfully. Now attach the wire of the battery if you have removed that. And then put the bracket and push it gently. Fit the screws. Then just simply boot up your PC or laptop. Right click on the windows and Click on disk management. Now a window will be pop up as the system has detected your SSD. 
just click ok and then as you can see we have 476 gb of unallocated memory that is our ssd then download aomi software to clone your windows 10 from your hard drive to your ssd open aomi software and then just go to clone go to this clone it says clone a hard drive to another drive now select your source disk the disk that you wish to clone mine is disk 0 so i am selecting disk 0 then select the destination disk and then click ok here checkbox the ssd alignment option so it says it will accelerate the reading and write speed for your solid state drive so it will optimize your ssd to get maximum benefits of speed then simply click on start clone now this can take up to three to four hours it depends on your data and your system so be patient now once it's finished click on finish and close the window now just restart your device and keep pressing f2 until you get into the bios menu just keep pressing f2 or delete whatever your device key is minus f2 so here in the bios menu you have to go to the boot menu just click the arrow and go to the boot menu now my boot priority order is already the ssd as you can see the first boot priority order is xpg gamex s11 pro if yours is not just go to the ssd and change the values you can see here it will be f5 or f6 button to change the value and and keep your ssd to the first position so that you can boot up with your ssd then exit and save settings it will take some time to boot up your device it will read and access all your data so first time it will take some while so we have booted up our laptop with ssd so let's just try and open my video editor So that was pretty fast okay we are seeing some results as you can see now let's run the benchmark test also there are some best buy links in the description for ssds you can check the description box so as you can see my sequential read write speed is way too fast and this was the sequential read write speed before so it was the hard drive and the read write speed now is almost 20 percent faster and the random read write speed is also way too faster now feel free to ask any questions regarding how to install an ssd in the comment section below now like the video subscribe the channel hit the bell icon follow me on instagram and twitter thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one